Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing the um, Confessions of a Beauty Guru tag. The questions. So, the first question is, how many hours a week do you spend filming slash editing videos? Well, as you know, I work full time, so it's kind of hard to fit in, um, you know, filming and editing videos. But I try to do at least two videos a week, and I do it normally on my d one of my days off. And I spend all day uh, video videoing and editing, filming and editing, and it normally takes me about 12 hours. Obviously it takes more time to do um, makeup tutorials because you have so much editing involved, there's so much that you need to cut out because when I normally do a makeup tutorial it takes me about 30 minutes. Then you've got to think about what makeup you want to do, what products you're going to be using, what you're going to do with your hair, um, the lighting, um, you know, if you're going to add any special um, annotations, um, just loads of things that go along with that. So that's kind of why I don't do that many makeup tutorials. Um, in my videos because they take a long time and videos like this you know where you're just talking to the camera they're so easy to upload you literally talk to you guys and then upload it and you know you're finished so that's why it's easy to do videos like these are you a spender or a saver well of course I'm a spender because as you know I always buy things Um, I'm sure a lot of people on YouTube that do beauty probably spend the majority of their money on beauty products and I can say that I have a lot of stuff that I probably don't even need for the average person um, but it's my passion you know guys collect golf clubs or guys spend all their money on video games or you know technology I love um, makeup and experimenting with it and you know it's kind of an art form as well because you get inspired by it you can do different looks and it's kind of like a transformation that you can take off um, when is it easiest for you to film well the easiest time is when I've got a whole day ahead of me and I know I can just you know have a nice relaxing day of filming, coming up with ideas and then you know sitting down with a cup of tea and editing, that's probably the easiest time. What makes talking in front of a camera comfortable for you? Well to be honest I don't think it's ever going to be comfortable for me unless there's a person behind the camera and I'm in the studio because then it will actually feel legit rather than just talking to a little um, flip camera set up on a makeup holder, brush holder um, and talking um, sort of at the little eye of the camera I think that is a bit weird but um I can say that when I first started um doing videos my first video was the most awkward experience ever and the most awkward thing is when someone comes in the room while you're doing a video um and then you're kind of like ah I'm just talking to myself but um yeah it is aw always awkward I don't think it's that comfortable thing to do anyway but the more you do the more comfortable you get what's your worst makeup slash hair habit I don't have a bad makeup habit as such because um, I'm very uh, sanitary when it sanitary 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 that's a cemetery what is it called sanitary that's it sanitary I'm very sanitary it's uh, I'm very sour sour what okay I'm very clean when it comes to makeup um hair that's a different story I can go three days without washing my hair Obviously I have a shower twice a day but sometimes because my hair is so thick and it takes such a long time to blow dry it, to straighten it, um, kind of put off washing it uh, as long as I can. But that's not a bad thing, it's really good to let your hair, um, you know, repair itself and clean itself kind of thing. And also, you know, the natural oils in your hair, you don't want to strip your natural oils in your hair. Now I'm just kind of trying to make excuses for me being lazy but oh well. One quote you wish the world would live by. I I'm not much of a quotes person, but I think one of the one of the best quotes that sticks in my mind is treat others how you wish to be treated and I split up of different people from different places, different backgrounds and um, different cultures and I think that you should all treat people the way you wish to be treated. I mean, I can't say that I'm perfect. Sometimes I kind of just say what I think and I don't really think about what I'm saying. But I do think that if you're nice to people, um, you will get the, the niceness back, of course. How long do you spend getting ready every day? Well, to be honest, this look here, because I was actually trying and, you know, I was taking time, took me about an hour. But to get ready, I can get ready in 15 minutes. I do not wear a lot of makeup for work. I literally put on mascara. People ask me why I don't have any makeup on, but I've actually probably spent 15 minutes on it. Um, I just wear a bit of mascara, fill in my brows, put a bit of foundation on, a bit of blusher. I try and get up a little bit earlier to do my hair and makeup because I do feel a lot more confident and a little bit more put together when I do do my makeup but obviously I don't have a team of people doing my hair like a lot of celebrities or what have that look perfect all the time so 
you know, it is kind of hard to keep up appearances. So I don't really mind if I look like a scruff bag because, you know, when I do videos you'll probably think, oh my god, you wear so much makeup, but in reality I don't look like this. Okay, so the next question is, your favourite video on YouTube? Well, in terms of non-beauty videos, which I think would be a bit interesting to do rather than beauty videos, um, this is one video that sticks in my mind um, of this uh, gay guy um, doing this cheerleading routine um, with a group of cheerleaders and the camera just literally zooms in on him and it does like the motions like the routine like really slow but he's like putting so much effort into it it's just so funny and the way he rolls his head around it's kind of hard to explain like just saying it now but if you actually like watch the video you'll probably laugh and um, I know I did because my husband showed it me for the first time I laughed so hard that I was just like oh my god I've never laughed that much and it actually hurt because I just laughed so much and it was hilarious but I should also put the video in the bar down below oh my eyelashes are sticking together okay so the next question is a YouTuber that you watch who deserves more views um, slash subscribers than they have. Um, my favourite YouTubers that des deserve more um, subscribers would be the Sparkly Um I'm not sure about whether that's her link, but I'm going to post all these links down below so you can check them out. Um, the Sublime Agent and uh, Evian. Uh, 2000 I think um, and her name's Louise but it's kind of hard to remember the usernames because they're always a lot different and they always have a lot of numbers in as well but I'm going to post all these links down below um, the Sparkalicious has great um, she has great videos and she posts quite frequently as well and she knows a lot about different products and um, she's very honest about products um, and you know she's just great to listen to you can sit there you can watch her videos um, and you don't get bored of them she's great at giving advice um, and you know she's just a great person um, so I really think that you would like her videos a sublime agent is basically um, a guy um, on YouTube who does amazing skincare um, advice videos and he knows so much about skincare I'm not sure whether you know he's reading it from a book or whether he actually knows um, but either way, he's amazing. And if you have any concerns or, you know, you just want to really invest your money in good serums or good moisturisers, definitely watch his videos. The only bad thing about him is that, that he doesn't really post frequently. He, he, he posts for like three months and then has like a two month break. But other than that, he, he's good. He has quite a couple of subscribers, but I still like him. Uh, Louise, um, Evian2000. Uh, she um, is a makeup artist, she's very talented at makeup, lovely, uh, easygoing personality, great to listen to, she's not annoying in the slightest, uh, just great videos and she deserves more subscribers so if you've got the time, um, which I'm sure you probably have, check out those um, check out those links down below and I'll put all the links um, so you can check those out. Uh, the next question... Your most awkward filming moment? Probably... Oh God. Okay, when the phone rings, that's probably the most awkward because then you kind of don't know what to do, you don't know whether to leave it in the video or to edit it out. Um, but it can be quite funny if you leave it in. And also when someone walks in on you, that is really embarrassing because then you have the awkward moment of should I carry on talking or should I stop and then sort of pause the video and then go back? Um, that can be pretty awkward. I don't have the most awkward moment, but that can be like awkward moments. How long does it take you to prep for a video? I don't really do much prep because I don't have a ton of time to do videos. I literally, if I'm going to do a makeup tutorial, I'll do one side of my face and then I'll think, oh, do I like it? Do I need to adjust it? And then I'll maybe tweak a little bit and then I'll do the other side um, and I'll show you guys how to do it. And that's normally the first time that I'll ever do that look. So bear in mind, you know, I don't practice a lot doing one look in particular. So it just kind of just comes out of my head. Um... Talking videos like this doesn't really take me time to prep. Um, just as long as I've got the questions in front of me, you know, that's all that I really need. Are you wearing pants slash jeans skirt right now or are you actually wearing pyjama bottoms? Well, like a true YouTuber, I'm actually wearing pyjama bottoms. I think I'm going to try and show you because this is really funny. I'm actually wearing a dress because I, really um, I really like the neckline here, especially with the lipstick and stuff. Um, so yeah, I kind of just wore a dress over um, pyjama bottoms. If you can see, these are pyjama bottoms. <laughs> Great look. So yeah, you can really um, 
you know, look great on top and kind of look like a slob underneath, which is a great thing about doing videos. Uh, next question. What are you most proud of in your life? Well, I haven't really accomplished much career-wise at the moment, but of course, I've got a whole new chapter of my life coming up. I'm moving to New York, um, New Jersey area actually, um, to be with my husband. So I'm hoping that a lot of things take off there in terms of YouTube and in terms of, um, you know, doing my career, which which is, um, I want to do PR, beauty PR or writing. Um, and I would say the probably the most proud, proudest moment of my life or the most you know, best thing that I've done that I've really, um, you know, carried on doing is probably my distance, long distance relationship with Jack because we actually, you know, stood through the years and we carried on visiting each other, we know, we spent a lot of money flying over here and there, I was going to uni, he was at uni and we really made time for each other and we, you know, we've been doing that for three years, almost three years now and we've actually almost come to the end of the road and we've got married and I'm about to move over to America. So I'm just waiting for my visa at the moment but I probably think that is the kind of most proudest moment of my life of actually saying that I've stuck that through because when I first started it I really didn't think that it was going to be long term. I thought, you know, I'll travel back and forth and um, see how it goes but I would never dream that I'd ever marry him. Um, not because I couldn't see myself with him, I just thought it'd be impossible to, you know, to carry on doing. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of that. And of course, I'm proud of my degree and I'm proud of um, staying true to myself. I'm proud of not being fake. Um, I'm just proud of being myself no matter what people think of me because I kind of have a bit of an out there personality um, I don't really show it on YouTube that much I kind of try and be a bit more informal and when people watch my videos they're like oh you're so different on YouTube like I can't believe you act serious and stuff but I'm obviously not going to act like a total idiot on YouTube because um, because people don't know me and they kind of just want to hear the facts and it's kind of hard to be yourself when you're talking to a camera but yeah um, I'm kind of proud of you know being myself and not trying to change because people want me to. So yeah, sometimes, the good thing about me is that sometimes I can act absolutely ridiculous and make people laugh and then the other second I can act serious. So, you know, you, if you're gonna act like that, if, you, if you're gonna really, you know, show your personality to the, to the maximum, you've gotta learn, you know, when that's appropriate and when that's not. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if I went on a bit of a ramble there, um, yeah, probably been trying to re refilm this video about two times now because every time I try and say a word I can't pronounce it because I haven't filmed in so long and I also keep looking at the viewfinder even though it has doesn't have anything on it it just has the you know, name of my camera but um, I'm just trying to get used to looking to the actual you know the actual eye of the camera but it's kind of a bit scary um because it does look like an eye <laughs> yeah so that was really awkward that's probably my most awkward filming moment looking at an eye of a camera So yeah, that's the end of my video. And if you want to, if you want to see me or you want me to film this look that I did earlier, just let me know and leave your comments down below. See you soon. Ding.